Now at 11, driving around Boston just got a whole lot trickier. A major project on the Tobin Bridge begins tonight and will go on for the next two years. There will be lane restrictions day and night. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Next month comes phase two. Ken McLeod's live in Chelsea tonight. And Ken, drivers aren't too happy about this. <laughs> Putting it mildly, Lisa. Yeah, officials believe crunch time will be these next several days as folks adjust to the lane closures. So picture a morning or evening commute where your trip over the Tobin Bridge was just awful and get ready for worse. Everyone knows that the green, rusty chunk of metal we call the Tobin needs some work. It's frail. It's a very old bridge. <laughs> I grew up going over that bridge. In fact, it hasn't had a major renovation since the 1970s. But as MassDOT shuts down two northbound lanes tonight, it begins a two-year ordeal for thousands of commuters. Well, I don't know. I think it's going to be a little mess. Truth is, the Tobin's 550,000 square feet of decking is already rated structurally deficient, meaning it must be replaced. And there's simply no painless way to do that. To be clear, these lane closures will lead to increased congestion and travel times. For now, there'll be two northbound lanes open by day and only one by night. The southbound lanes near the Chelsea curves will jump into the shutdown fun come May. Flashing signs already deliver the bad news. Yeah, I'm frustrated, but what can you do, right? But I feel bad for those people who have to go through that bridge every day. State officials would like Tobin users to flex their schedules to commute during off-peak hours or take advantage of free Silver Line bus fares or ride those extra rail cars being added to the blue line. I use the Waze app, so hopefully that's going to help me out. Perhaps, as long as several thousand others aren't doing the same thing. And while you sit in traffic, you might not want to dwell on the fact that the project causing it is costing taxpayers like you $200 million. Would you trust yourself on it without it being repaired? Good question, huh? To give you some idea of scale, you might recall when both ComAB bridges over the Mass Pike were replaced during a couple of consecutive summers. Well, MassDOT says this project is 11 times bigger. Live tonight in Chelsea, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.